Mark Zuckerberg was today still nowhere to be seen four days after a data breach scandal threw Facebook into turmoil amid calls for users to boycott the social media network. The founder and CEO was missing in an action yesterday as he failed to make an appearance at a staff meeting while calls for him to appear before US and UK lawmakers in London and Washington have been completely ignored. Concerns are now growing about the future of the embattled company after the scandal worsened overnight with shocking new allegations about Cambridge Analytica's use of honey traps and bribes to discredit its clients' rivals. Now Zuckerberg is facing new calls to come clean over claims the company knew about the Cambridge Analytica data breach which affected 50 million users since 2015. As well as failing to appear at yesterday's staff meeting, he's been conspicuously quiet on Facebook and Instagram his two favored social media platforms since March 2. On that day he posted a photo of himself and his wife Priscilla showing off some baked goods in celebration of Purim, a Jewish holiday. One Facebook employee told Business Insider, everybody at Facebook in first year gets immunized to stories about Facebook or they quit. But there are plenty of people irked about this, about Facebook silence. They want Mark to go on TV. Others, chatting on the employee app Blind, labeled the situation serious and asked, is this how the downfall of Mispus happened? I'm just trying to figure out how worried I should actually be. Yesterday the hashtag number where suck began trending after Facebook users noted Zuckerberg hadn't updated his profile page since March 2, while WhatsApp co-founder Brian Acton said it was time to for users to delete their profiles. British culture chairman Damien Collins has requested Zuckerberg to personally visit the UK Parliament for a grilling after his team provided consistently misleading answers on data protection. He blasted the California-based web giant for sending junior executives to previous hearings instead of clued up company bosses on fake news and demanded answers about whether data had been taken without consent. And Collins' counterparts in the US are demanding likewise Senator Mark Warner, the top Democrat on the Intelligence Committee Russia investigation, says he wants Facebook to return to Capitol Hill for further questioning. Over the weekend, The Guardian revealed that London data firm Cambridge Analytica had been given access to info on millions on Facebook users. The data was scraped without the user's permission by an organization operating a rogue app disguised as a personality quiz. While nearly 300,000 users gave the app permission to use their personal details it also secretly nabbed details about all of their Facebook friends too. This was then passed on to Cambridge Analytica, which used it in turn to help Donald Trump become U.S. president and to boost the Brexit campaign in 2016. We've asked Facebook's press office if they have any information about the whereabouts of Mark Zuckerberg, and we'll update this article with any response.